is the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus Luanna K. Simon, file 18-2261-FY. And would counsel identify themselves? Governor for the people from the Attorney General's office, Scott Peter. Okay, spell your last name. Thank you. Spell your last name, please. He is Tom E. T. E. R. Thank you. And counsel for the Your Honor, may it please the court, Lee Silver, on behalf of the defendant, Dr. Luanna Simon. Thank you. Ms. Simon, it's alleged that on or about May 1st of 2018 in Eaton County, Michigan, count one, you did, after being informed by Detective Sergeant William Arndt and Lieutenant Joseph Cavanaugh of the Michigan State Police that the officers were conducting a criminal investigation, did knowingly and willfully make a statement or statements to the officer that you knew were false or misleading regarding the following material fact or facts relating to the investigation. That you were not aware of the nature of the complaint that generated the 2014 MSU Title IX investigation of Amanda Thomas Show's allegations. And the officer was conducting a criminal investigation for criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. So this charge is a felony, maximum penalty four years in prison and or $5,000 fine, commonly known as lying to a peace officer, violent crime investigation. Count two is similar to that. Again, it's alleged that after being informed by Detective Sergeant William Arndt and Lieutenant Joseph Cavanaugh of the Michigan State Police that the officers were conducting a criminal investigation, you did knowingly and willfully make a statement or statements to the officers that you knew or was false or misleading regarding the following material fact or facts relating to the investigation. When asked about whether you were aware of any investigation involving Larry Nassar prior to 2016, you falsely or misleadingly said that I was aware that in 2014 there was a sports medicine doc who was subject to a review, when in fact you knew it was Larry Nassar who was the subject of the 2014 MSU Title IX investigation into the Amanda Thomas Show complaint. And the officers were conducting a criminal investigation for criminal sexual conduct first degree. That is also a felony, maximum penalty four years in prison and or $5,000 fine. Again, commonly known as lying to a peace officer, violent crime investigation. Count three, you did, after being informed by Detective Sergeant William Arndt and Lieutenant Joseph Cavanaugh of the Michigan State Police that the officers were conducting a criminal investigation, did knowingly and willfully make a statement or statements to the officers that you knew was false or misleading regarding the following material fact or facts relating to the investigation, that you were not aware of the nature of the complaint that generated the 2014 MSU Title IX investigation of Amanda Thomas Show's allegations, and the officer was conducting a criminal investigation for misconduct of a public official. It's a high court misdemeanor, maximum penalty two years in prison and or $5,000 fine. It's commonly known as lying to a peace officer, four years or more crime investigation. And count four is, um, has a similar name as to count three. It's alleged that after being informed by Detective Sergeant William Arndt and Lieutenant Joseph Cavanaugh of the Michigan State Police that the officers were conducting a criminal investigation, did knowingly and willfully make a statement or statements to the officer that you knew was false or misleading regarding the following material fact or facts relating to the investigation. When asked about whether you are aware of any investigation involving Larry Nassar prior to 2016, you falsely or misleadingly said that, I was aware that in 2014 there was a sports medicine doc who was subject to a review, when in fact you knew it was Larry Nassar who was the subject of the 2014 MSU Title IX investigation into the Amanda Thomas Show complaint. And the officer was conducting a criminal investigation for misconduct of a public official. It's also a high court misdemeanor, maximum penalty, two years in prison, and or $5,000 fine. Do you understand the nature of the charge and the maximum penalty? I do. 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing can be used against you. You have the right to be represented by counsel. If you couldn't afford an attorney, one could be made available at public expense. You have the right to have your attorney present at all for their appearances before the court or interrogations by the police. You have the right to a preliminary examination where the prosecutor is required to present proofs to show there's probable cause to believe the crimes you're charged with were actually committed and you're the person who committed the crimes. At the end of that hearing, if the proofs are strong enough, the matter would be bound over to circuit court for arraignment and trial. If not strong enough, the case could be dismissed. So I'm going to schedule this for a probable cause conference supposed to be within 7 to 14 days. Do you want this next Monday or the following Monday? Or have you talked about hearing date? Our, our choices, Your Honor, either December, December 3 or December 10. That's what I normally do, though. I'm, uh, are those options are they appropriate? I usually do them about 1:30, but we could do this a little later, so because we don't need to sit around and wait for it. Wednesday and Thursday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday I have treatment court review hearings. Thursday we could probably do it in San in the afternoon. At all? Um, okay. Um, what day of the week is that? That's a Tuesday. Shannon? Three jury trials I think we could do that. This doesn't usually take much court time. I've got three jury trials scheduled, but if you just need a few minutes of time of mine. Okay. So was that, did we end up with the 17th or the 18th? 18th. So, um, like 2.30? How about 2.30? That's fine, Thank you. And do you want to go ahead and try to schedule a preliminary exam now, or would you rather wait and see how the case develops? Can we do it on the 18th when we're together, Your Honor? So Choose the date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Preliminary exam to be scheduled. December 18th when we're all together. And now to the issue of bond. I need to consider the seriousness of the offense charged, protection of the public, your criminal record, and the likelihood um, you'll return for your court hearings. So, did anyone want to be heard on bond, Mr. Teeter? Yes, Your Honor. When the charges were issued last week, uh, the court has indicated that two felonies are too high for this year. We did make contact with the defense counsel to voluntarily surrender herself today. Uh, we believe that pursuant to court rule 6.106, parents see that she does qualify for the personal conscience of time. Uh, we would ask the normal and standard conditions of time that we see here as part of that she not leave the state without the court's permission. Obviously, not committing the crimes while she's on bond, but also that she surrendered her passport to the court and that we held to the conclusion of the case. 
addition to that, we'd ask that um, and as she leaves today, that she go through her own booking process, which would be fingerprinting, um, booking photo, that it also would be an example. And would one of you like to be heard? Your Honor, uh, release on personal retirement is appropriate. I'm happy to uh, go through all the reasons why, if Your Honor would like, but in light of the Attorney General's uh, statement that uh, release on personal retirement is, is appropriate in the court rule, I don't want to waste the court's time. The court is already inclined to release Dr. Sun on her own personal retirement. I, she has no criminal record. I'm no, no okay. Criminal record, no. A five thousand dollar personal recognizance bond with conditions, uh, which are just the standard ones, plus surrendering the passport to the court. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, just the order for the DNA. I think that's a separate order. Yeah, I signed the DNA and the fingerprint orders are in the file. Okay, any questions? Okay. Thank you.